All right. So my uh, plans have changed a little bit on the sequence of how I was going to uh, work on my truck. So I was going to take the bed off and work on that first, but let me show you. I don't know if you can see, but this line gets wider and wider as it goes. So I think what's happened is the cab mounts have an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack it up and pull this tire off and set it on a sawhorse just so that I can get in there a little better. And then I'm going to see what happens when I start jacking up on the cab. So I'm going to set you down over here and we're going to uh, work on that. But before I do, so uh, this project or my channel was started out originally to be about this truck and the bulk of it is going to be about about this whole truck. But the name of the channel is Life On and what I meant to do with that is to uh, you know kind of things that happen during life you know the projects and the things that come up or get in the way and I use the word edit but <laughs> I don't do much editing I, I do what I call uh, organic video uh, first off because I'm just not software is not my thing and uh, it takes long enough just to upload a regular video that you can spend days and days and days you know editing and I'm not into that you know I wanna I wanna share what I know and show me uh, working on my old truck and telling my stories and you know trying to be funny uh, but what I do is uh, you can't uh, you can't well maybe you can but I can't download right from my camera to, to YouTube so the editing that I do is I take all these pictures these little clips of video then I put them into a, a video uh, I combine them into one video and then I upload it I don't do very much editing unless I just leave something out that's, you know, maybe the camera angle was stupid or something that are, you know, I didn't have any, you know, real content in the, the clip. Then I'll, I'll leave that video, out, that part out. But for the most part, I just start and stop the camera and then I download that video and make a, a continuous clip out of it and then I put it on YouTube. I might fast forward through something or you know do some little tricky things that I'm able to do but but what I do is what I call organic video and so uh, my videos can be kind of long but you know I'm doing this more for posterity than anything so you know it is what it is but it's or I call it organic video I might have maybe I'm I hope I'm not infringing on anybody's copyright or anything, but that's what I call it. And so anyway, like I now I'll shut the camera off and I'll get the jack set up and pop this tire off and then uh, I'll bring, you know, turn the camera back on. But I hope you enjoy the organic video, the way I do it. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to have a channel or do videos called What They Don't Show You on YouTube you know and so a lot of what you're seeing is me discovered it for the first time and 
you know, I think it's important that you see what it takes to, to do the to do what it is we do or what I'm doing. So anyway, that's just me rambling again, but uh, let me get this wheel off and then we'll take a look and see what we can do with jacking up the body and see if we can figure out a way to uh, adjust that gap. So I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got the jack under there. Let's see if I can see if I can see what I'm doing. But I've got it up. Spinning the tire. The brake drums are a little tight. The, the discs, I gotta work on that. That's something I need to address. But no play. That front end is tight, which is cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this hubcap off. You can't see me, but I'm putting my knee pads on. Getting older. I'm going to start taking better care of myself. set of tires for this old truck. They're off like a 80s F-150. steel wheel. They came off, I, I think, a four-wheel drive. It's so fun having some, having certain tools. This is one of them. These haven't been off in years. out of alignment or what? That, that tire's wearing kind of screwy. Okay. Alright, so let me get a jack stand.
don't like where that's sitting. Really not a good place for it. Let's come over here, see if I can see, get you to see what's going on. There we go, that'll work. So you're looking at the, the cab mount, okay, so let me grab my Hammer. Let's see what we got. So let's get some light on the subject. fell over okay so do you see see that that's kind of a hole so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna grab my driver drill and uh, see if I can get this cover off here and then uh, See if we can, uh, how does that look? You guys got your legs messed up. Yeah, okay. All right, let me grab some tools and then I'll be back. See if I can find a better spot. For the camera. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Got one out of four. Let's 
see if we can get down on them a little better. Okay, looks like it's a vice grip type of day. for grins and giggles to see if a, a metric fits it any better. Tell their Harbor Freight I lost my magnet. Okay. I don't want to cut them off. So sure that's gonna happen. They might end up meeting Mr. Grinder. Huh. Okay. I'll bring you back. Okay, I got my hearing protection on and my face shield. That was noisy. Okay. Let's 
so I'm not sure what the setup was in there but you can see the head of the bolt is in there can you yeah there's a head of the bolt right there and then here so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, hit that with some spray go have some dinner and then uh, come back and see if I can get that apart Okay. We're gonna see if we can get that out of there. So it's a five eighths. on top It just ripped. It just ripped right out of the body. So now there's just this gaping hole. Well, that beats fighting it. I guess. So, let's, uh, let's bring the jack over here. Let's see if we can, uh, jack up that the body and see if it makes any difference with our uh, body line. If I get you guys down here so you can see what we're doing. So that's the hole that in the body line. We're gonna lift right here. This is the cab. Okay, let's look at it. Look at that. Lifting it up. Look how different that body line is. That just changed everything. See if I can keep in focus here. That just changed everything. Wow. So, <laughs> so
so the bottom of that cab mount is gone. Oh, you can see it better than I can. Right there. So I think I can, I think I can save it. Uh, it'll take a little bit of work, but I think I can get a plate and a new body mount. And uh, yeah, I think I can save it. in there. What do we got? Is that a rust hole? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can, uh, I think I can say, but but anyway, that fixed my body line. I like it. So boy, that looks a lot better go over here on the other side. I think they're both doing the same thing. Well, even uh, jacking this up, that side even helped this side. Still kind of tight. I might have to do some custom work here. But so here's the other thing when you're doing body panels, you know, and you're mocking them up, you know, you want to put it all together and make sure you have good body lines. So I know I didn't have good body lines, so I'm going to fix that before I tear it apart. Also, this rust up here. You don't want to be cutting the roof off, which I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the roof off. I've got another one. You don't want to cut the roof off before you fix some of these uh, structural issues. Because they're all kind of tied together. So if you, if you don't fix the cab mount and get that right, then when you cut the roof off and start messing with that, then you'll never be able to get that to line up. So you want to, you know, do, a, you know, this truck's all together, it's still a driver. You know, you want to do all these fitting things and fix some of this stuff before you tear it all apart. So that's will be what we'll be working on next is uh, rebuilding this cab mount and we're going to do both sides so I'll, uh, that'll be part of this series of videos we'll call it cab corn cab cab mounts uh, it needs cab corners but we'll call it cab mounts so anyway that's just a few minutes of messing around uh, I don't know if these trucks were ever that, the lines were ever that perfect. 
Uh, you can kind of tell by the pinstriping that, you know, even from when I had it painted. But anyway, I, I just that fix the things. If you've got it together, you know there's issues. Work on those issues. Get your lines to line up before you tear it all apart. Save yourself some headache when you go to put it back together. So, till we get, uh, till I get that other some metal and that other piece fabricated, we'll be back. All right, just a little bonus footage. Uh, I put up one of my Father's Day presents. We just had Father's Day. Yeah, let me put it up and then I'll show it to you. Alright, let's see, let's do it. Let's see what we've got going on here. Decorations. Ford truck drive right there, baby. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you what I got going on here. That's the door that goes out to the back of the garage. That's a window mount air conditioner. And I've got water hooked to it. It's uh, 90. It's 91 degrees outside, and I've got it down to 76 degrees in here. So not only do I have heat, I have air conditioning. <laughs> All right, get back to work. Okay, so back out here working on the old Ford. And I've got some cool stuff. So let me flip this around. We got parts. So what we have right there is the floor. I got two of those right and the left. I got two cab front cab mounts. I got two of those. And then I've got cab corners are right and the left. So Parts is parts. This is cool stuff. So now that these are here, the next few videos will be tearing the cab out, taking the stuff out of the inside the cab, and then getting the floorboards out and getting the new front cab mounts. In the earlier in the video, I showed you this body line, and what I've got here is I jacked it up and I've got a 2x4 instead of the rubber grommets and that's too much it's too tight down there but it really made a big difference and made that body line a lot nicer so that's what we're going to be working on videos to come <laughs> 